Hello, I'm Paul. And I'm Michelle. We're with the California Department of Tax and Fee Administration, or CDTFA. Michelle and I are going to give a brief overview of use tax for in-state and out-of-state retailers and discuss some recent law changes. First, let's define some common terms. Most people are generally familiar with the sales tax, which applies when a retailer in California sells tangible personal property to a customer in the state. Use tax is a complementary tax to the sales tax and generally applies to a retail sale when the sales tax doesn't apply. This typically occurs when a consumer purchases tangible personal property from an online, out-of-state retailer for use in California. Tangible personal property includes items that can be touched or felt, like shoes or electronic equipment, but excludes real property like land or buildings. Recent legislation requires out-of-state retailers to collect use tax beginning April 1, 2019. They are required to do so if during the preceding or current calendar year, their total combined sales of tangible personal property for delivery in California exceed $500,000. The law also requires all retailers who meet the statewide threshold, whether inside or outside California, to register with CDTFA and to collect district use tax on all sales made for delivery in any district that imposes a district tax. District taxes are locally imposed sales and use taxes that are due on top of the 7.25% state sales and use tax rate. If you're an out-of-state retailer, here's an example. If you sell portable blenders to customers in California and made sales exceeding the $500,000 threshold in 2018, you are required to register and collect California use tax effective April 1, 2019. The district tax rates vary in California, and you will need to collect the appropriate rate based on your customer's location. If you are an in-state retailer, the same rules apply, and here's how it works. If you have an online store which sells and ships auto parts to customers throughout California from your warehouse in San Diego, California, and have no physical presence anywhere else in the state, beginning April 1, 2019, if your sales in the prior year exceeded the $500,000 threshold, in addition to the statewide tax of 7.25%, you are also required to collect the district tax based on your customer's location on all retail sales in California. Paul, if you meet those thresholds, how do you register? If you're not currently registered with the CDTFA, you may register with us online. Go to our website, cdtfa.ca.gov. From our Taxpayer Online Services portal, scroll down to Registration, select Register a New Business Activity or Location, and follow the prompts. You can find detailed information in our online guide, Use Tax Collection Requirements Based on Sales into California Due to the Wayfair Decision, at cdtfa.ca.gov forward slash industry forward slash Wayfair. We'll keep this guide up to date with the latest updates and resources. If you're already registered with us, we will send you information by email or mail to make sure you know when there are updates important to your business. For detailed information due to the Wayfair decision, go to cdtfa.ca.gov forward slash industry forward slash Wayfair or cdtfa.ca.gov.